Hi Doug, I'm with CrunchGear.com and today we're taking a look at the EOS wireless music system which uh, consists of a bass package Damn! Screwed up already! God! This is harder than it looks. Core system. Hi Doug, I'm with CrunchGear. <laughs> Hi, Doug. I'm with CrunchGear.com. Don't want any trouble. Just want to tell you about the EOS wireless music system. EOS being the Greek goddess of dawn. And also, a little known fact, EOS being the Greek goddess of Canon SLR cameras, digital and otherwise. And now the Greek goddess of wireless music transmission. So, EOS, we salute you, wherever you are, young lady. The core EOS system uh, consists of this base station right here with handy iPod dock and it also has uh, auxiliary input so you can plug in your maybe your computer or your non-Apple music product if you have a like a Zune. Does anyone out there have a Zune? Um, and it also comes with this one speaker and uh, each speaker is uh, it's a stereo speaker there are two channels and it's got a backfiring subwoofer. Subwoofer. Um, so this core system is $249.99 and you can add extra speakers for $129.99 a piece. Okay, pros. The EO system is ridiculously easy to set up. I mean, like a six-year-old could do it, provided that six-year-old's parents are lenient enough to let him plug things into wall sockets. If you can plug something into a wall socket, you can set up the system. You literally plug this thing in and then go around and plug these things in. <laughs> That's it. What's nice about these speakers, too, is they have the plug built in, uh, seemingly, to the back here, and you can plug it into a wall socket, and it'll just kind of float on the wall. Or, if you want to put it on a shelf or something, they come out, and they got a little cord in there. So, food for thought. They look kind of cool hanging, though. I mean, if you really want to impress some people, you're having a dinner party, maybe you're reconnecting with your you know, estranged relatives, you're going to want to have them hanging out the wall there. Also, unlike most other wireless audio systems that you may have tried, the EOS uses proprietary wireless technology in the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum. And uh, what does that mean? I don't know how they do it, but there was absolutely no interference at any time when I was testing the system. So that's real nice. Uh, it does operate on the same band as some wireless networks but uh, the proprietary part of the transmission uses intelligence selecting to find the best uh, band and something or other. I don't know. It, it doesn't make any interference. Who cares? So uh, that's nice. As far as range is concerned, the uh, company claims they can, the speakers can be up to 150 feet away from the base unit here. Um, I live in a thousand square foot apartment. And I tried to space out the speakers uh, as far away from the, the base station as I could. Uh, putting the base station in the middle of my apartment and uh, everything worked fine. I didn't have any problems with it. Uh, so if you have a medium to large apartment or a small house, uh, I think this would work uh, just fine for you. Okay, cons. It's a little expensive. I mean, this core system here is $250. And then if you add three more speakers to round it out to a four speaker set, you get up to like it's $640. It's a lot of, it's a lot of coin. And also, the system can only handle four speakers total. Can't do more. So, if you have a big house and you want to get a lot of coverage all over your house, you got to pick where you're putting those four speakers. You can't buy eight speakers. You can't buy 12 speakers. You can only buy four. So, it's like if you have a really big house, you have enough money to buy this system. But if you don't have a really big house, you're probably not going to spend $640 on wireless speakers unless you're really into it. Also, the sound quality out of this system and the speakers is pretty good. It's above average, but it's still got that same tinny sound that most wireless speakers have. And any songs with really deep, heavy bass, uh, it just they just flatten out and kind of, you know, they bought the speakers bottom out. I'll, here's some. Let's look at some. Here's some bass-heavy songs. You can hear what I'm talking about.
recommendation should you buy the EOS music system. If you're not put off by the, the relatively high price tag, and you're not going to listen to your music super loud, and you're not going to listen to a bunch of songs with really deep, heavy bass, maybe you're going to listen to spoken word stuff or, you know, talk radio, podcasts, that kind of stuff. This system is great because uh, it's super easy to set up and uh, no interference. So, uh, in that case, it's uh, worth a closer look. Make sure to check out the full review over at crunchgear.com.